Hello guys, Milos here and welcome to Civilization 6. Uh, this is not a uh, let's play, this is just a quick preview that I'd um, like to share with you. So I'm just gonna go into my current game which is actually my first From game. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Gorgo, Queen of Sparta, glory to you and your loyal hoplite armies. Greece savors the blessings from Ares that every victory brings, and your people applaud your thoughtful governance and cultural marvels. Stand proud. For the legacy of Greece and of your achievements will be told over and over again for generations. Alright, so I'm playing as Gogo or Gorgo. Or Gorgo, whatever they pronounce it. So, playing as Greece, uh, why? Because I kind of liked some early bonuses um, that um, I'm gonna get into in a second. And this is my first playthrough. Um, now, what do I think about this? Um, game is... Uh, well, when it comes to performance and graphics, game is actually pretty good. When it comes to gameplay, now I spent quite a few hours playing Civ 5 and... Uh, <coughs> you get used to so many different... Uh, Basically, the problem is my own idiosyncrasies that, um, you know, you develop as you're playing a certain type of a game for, uh, for a long time. Um, so, for example, movement of the units, um, I'm still struggling with that because my hands are kind of run rushing ahead of my brain. But anyway, um, the gameplay is a little bit different. Um, one thing that I noticed is that AI is a little bit dumb. Um, I had actually a settler roaming around this area backwards and forwards for quite a while and I was actually afraid that they were going to take this place. But anyway, I managed to um, get um, my own city here. So I'm still in a kind of early stages of the empire. It's a medieval time, uh, at least for me. Um, I did encounter uh, two bugs, or maybe one of them is um, a gameplay thing. So, if you have a look at here, you have Gogo, that's me, and then you have Gogo as well. So, there are two Greek empires here. I'm um, not sure if that's the intention of the developer or not, but anyway. Um, yeah, so maybe it's not, maybe it is not now. There is another thing. If I go to the map option, it's not map option. Um, so I just need to have a look at how can I see the strategic view here. Because initially when I started this, um, the game popped up with the... Um, little pop-up um, saying that I discovered another continent which is meant to be something around here I'm really not sure how to recall that that map so my apologies for that um, it, I'm really new to this concept of no, map pins Well, I don't know. Lenses. There you go. Continents. Where is the continent? So have a look at this. So according to the game, these are separate continents. So the purple and green are two different continents. Yeah, so... Anyway, it's definitely a bug. Um... Other than that, a um, uh, different thing is the certain social policies are now actually developed through what, what is called civics tree. And one of the reasons why I chose Greece is in it gets an extra 
um, wild card. Wild cards are something. If you played Civ Five, uh, you remember the social policies. Um, you can basically change these policies. You need, for example, some gold to spend if you want to change them immediately or after. For example, next turn, um, I'm going to be able to replace the cards if I need them to. So far, oh, this uh, strategic view is cute. I'm just going to turn it off. So, um, anything else? Uh, you have city states, you need to send envoys. I mean, there b probably there are pl plenty of videos out there um, that are uh, going into detail about the gameplay. The c there's one thing that I really, really um, mind about the new civilization is that the diplomacy is still fairly shallow. For example, um, I ha I went to it, so now I do not remember this terminology. So basically, I have had three invoices Buenos Aires when England declared the war and there was no option of me negotiating peace or enforcing England to make peace with the city-state so um, yeah so as I said look it's still early in the game this is my first playthrough and what I'm planning to do with this map is actually I want to build a city over here so I can get a coastal um, coastal um, access to the sea. So I'm just going to do one more turn just to show you this um, new There's another thing that I'm, I'm not a big fan of is um, that the roads... The Navy has both a tradition and a future and we look with pride and confidence in both directions. So here we go, I've completed the uh, Civic now, I'm allowed to change the policies. So just by putting this wild card at the right spot, um, grants you certain bonuses. Also, as you progress through your um, the time and the discovering new Civics, uh, there are different options there that can be selected for the type of the government. So that's, a, that's a probably one big significant difference than previous installments. Um, I'm actually not going to change, so what am I having here, let me see, new builders to extra build, let me see what I can get here. Mm. I'm going to put this here, because I'm going to build a Seltler soon. Um, and where is this guy and why are they here? Okay. And this is one of these things. I don't know what's going on. Why is my move button not working? Ah, I need to choose Civic, of course. So let me see what I want to pick from here. So Lettering here, Renaissance here. Okay. Monarchy. If I choose the civic tree, I'd like to see something. If I go to the government, what are the bonuses here? Theocracy gives me this, Merchant Republic gives me this, Monarchy plus two, minus influence. So, what should I go for? Merchant Republic or Monarchy? Monarchy looks really attractive, but I 
I'm actually playing a peaceful game, so... I'm gonna change... What do we say? Merchant Republic. Well, I'm a little bit far to get there. So, what else do I need to discover to get there? Theology. Uh, this will take a while. Alright, let's go for monarchy first, eventually. And... So why is my shortcut working now? I don't know. Alright, so that was a little bit of a combat. This city needs food. Okay. We'll get him food. And I can claim the great person who is this great scientist. Sorry they have this great sound as I can't do anything with him. I don't know why. I'm really still discovering what's going on with this game. So why is this one? So let's send envoy to Geneva. Yes. There you go now. Influenced by two civilization. Yeah. So that's about it in the nutshell. Um, I did have a, a war with England and England's been friend and very friendly and then they decided to backstab me but they failed. Why is my shortcut not working? I don't know. For some reason. Yeah, what can this guy do? And why can't he do anything? This is what I don't understand. I don't know. Let him sleep, actually. I'm not gonna let him sleep. There. So, that's about it. Guys, I hope um, you guys liked it. Um, as I said, it's a little bit of different gameplay and I really do not have intention to make a let's play because I believe there's plenty of them out there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.